Let's dive into the world of doubles tennis. The current number one player in doubles tennis is Neil Skupski. Let's give this phenomenal athlete the attention he deserves as one of the greatest tennis players in the world. Let's face it, doubles tennis athletes are usually overshadowed by their counterparts in the singles pro tennis world. We all know about the top players in singles tennis but there's no denying that doubles tennis is just as competitive and also fun to watch. Here are some things you should know about Neil Skupski. Neil Skupski is a professional tennis player who specializes in doubles. He achieved his career high doubles ranking of world number one on the 14th of November 2022. He is currently the world's number one currently tied with Wesley Koolhoff from the Netherlands at 7,850 points. Neil was born on the 1st of December 1989. He is currently 32 years and 11 months old. For reference, he is around three and a half years younger than Nadal, and two and a half years younger than Novak Djokovic and Andy Murray. Just like Andy Murray, Neil Skupski is also British. In fact, another thing they have in common is that he has oftentimes been paired with Andy's brother Jamie Murray, who is currently ranked number 32. Skupski has represented Great Britain in the Davis Cup since 2019, and competed at the 2020 Summer Olympics. He was paired with Jamie Murray in the 2020 Summer Olympics. However, they were knocked out of men's doubles in the second round. Neil is the younger brother of former tennis player Ken Skupski, and the pair regularly competed together until 2021, most notably winning the 2021 Mexican Open. Before entering the world of professional tennis full-time, he first finished his degree at Louisiana State University, where he studied sports administration and graduated in 2012. During this time, he was also playing college tennis. Soon after playing college tennis, it was only a matter of time before Neil Skupski quickly realized his best path was in doubles. He began competing as a professional in 2013, initially playing on the Futures and Challenger tours. His brother Ken didn't think twice about stepping down to the Futures and Challenger levels to see what the two could accomplish together. In the span of a year, Neil went from being unranked to finishing 2013 inside the top 90 of the doubles rankings. Call it sibling synergy, call it brotherly love, but Ken's loyalty during that crucial transition year has never been lost on Neil. Neil says that Ken basically got him where he is today. Further saying that without Ken to blaze the trail, it probably would have taken him two or three years, maybe more, to get to the top 100. It was a massive gamble for his brother Ken who was already playing at a higher level of doubles tennis. But everything can be seen as fate as they were destined to do great things as doubles partners, it just made it extra special that they were brothers. Neil comes from an athletic family. Tennis isn't Neil's only sporting passion. Neil and Ken are both massive Reds fans and Neil is also a decent golfer because of the fact that his mother is a golfer. It was their dad that got Neil and Ken into tennis. The family's back garden backed onto Palmerston Tennis Club and Neil first picked up a racket to play when he was just three years old. The age gap meant they didn't grow up playing together but once they did team up, their brotherly bond meant they were a natural pairing. Neil is a right-handed six-footer. His favorite shot in his arsenal is his volley. He is a very strong returner, that likes to strike the ball with a lot of force. He is a risk taker. He is an elite doubles tennis strategist and tactician able to make split-second decisions to take advantage of holes in opponents' defenses. He is a two-time Grand Slam champion in mixed doubles, having won back-to-back -back Wimbledon championships in 2021 and 2022 alongside partner Desiree Krasik. Skupski has won 13 titles on the ATP Tour, including the 2022 Madrid Open, 2022 Canadian Open and the 2022 Paris Masters with partner Wesley Kulhoff, and has finished runner-up at the US Open and four further Masters 1000 events. His favorite surface to play on is grass, so it only makes sense that his favorite tournament happens to be the only one he's won twice, Wimbledon. Tennis star Neil Skupski won his first Grand Slam title, partnering with American Desiree Krawczyk to beat British pair Harriet Dart and Joe Salisbury in the mixed doubles final. He's got a couple of amazing tennis heroes. Neil says his idols on court when he was growing up were champions Roger Federer and Pete Sampras. Doesn't it make you wonder how Neil would have fared if he entered and pursued a career in professional singles tennis instead? Would he have been as great as his idols Roger Federer and Pete Sampras? I guess we will never know but one thing's for sure is that he deserves his current number one ranking in doubles tennis. Let us know in the comments below if you think he would have done great in the world of singles tennis. 
follow and subscribe to get more of Tennis Supremacy.